The lionfish is a plague of fish. They're normally indigenous to the Red Sea and the Indonesian Sea. And they were introduced here, they think, in 95. They think a hurricane released most of the lionfish from an aquarium and about 15 were released and now we have countless numbers of lionfish. The biggest problem with lionfish is they have no predators. Uh, so they have nothing to eat them to control their populations. So they eat the whole reef system, they kill everything off, they can actually hibernate so when there's no fish left on the reef, they can sleep for a couple months and when they wake up there's fish again then they eat those two. So it's, um, yeah, it's a huge problem. The consequences is that everything, uh, everything starts off small, so big fish, lobsters, and other fish, they start off very small and lionfish eat all their young. So if all these small fish are eaten, they don't become big fish. And then the fisheries suffer, the reefs suffer, etc., etc. Um, let's say five years ago, it were a lot of them because the people didn't realize about the invasion yet. But then the government gave some harpoons to, uh, to some divers at the island, and um, little by little, we tried to make an effort to try to control the populations because you cannot kill them all. Right now, you cannot see them so often because there's many people local also that are diving and hunting them because in many restaurants you can eat them or even at home and that kind of stuff. So it's not so, 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 like it was like four or five years before. It's here in Curacao, we, um, you can get a special permit and we hunt them with a spear and a zookeeper. This is a specially designed PVC pipe um, in which you're able to uh, store the lionfish as you go along hunting them. Here I have a spear located in a zookeeper. I take the rubber part, I loop my thumb onto it, I pull the spear back. Underwater, I don't want to pull it back too much because I don't want to lose control of the spear. Underwater, I pull this uh, loop about up to this area, okay? And then I aim at the lionfish and then I let go and then it's released. Then I take the zookeeper. As you see, it has a funnel for entrance. I take the fish in the funnel and I put it in and pull the spear out. Curacao has a program that in the beginning of the infestation they would um, have a number that you can call and then people, if they saw a lionfish, you can call the number. Yeah, what did they do afterwards? Nothing. You call their number and they note it, they write it down. That doesn't really help. What they have done that has helped is to re-allow certain spears, the Hawaiian sling. That has definitely slowed down the, the, the flood of lionfish but I think that Curacao can definitely do a lot more. For one, I think they should uh, organize, like there are some dive schools that organize competitions, but I think the government should also, you know, subsidize these competitions in order to promote lionfish hunting. I think also they should uh, um, make like a PSA so that people understand, some people are afraid of lionfish because they think they're poisoned.